Okay, okay, we are back with more Taylor Swift. Um, we got Red, um, Live Harvey Mud College once again. Is uh, she going to do a little interview at the start again? I wonder. I don't know. Uh, let's check it out. Wow. You guys look pretty. Um, I'm Taylor. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Taylor. <laughs> and it's actually in... Oh, spoilers! What? It's just really quiet. You guys look pretty. Um, I'm Taylor. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Taylor. And it's actually incredible to meet you under these circumstances. Thank you so much for winning and being amazing and entering this contest. Wait, it was a contest? It's so cool of you. Because this is Storytellers. This is VH1 Storytellers. This is unlike any show that I will ever play again and have ever played before. Hmm? So wait, did our college win? A contest, I'm guessing? Yeah. You know, I, I recently wrote an album called Red. And I am holding a guitar that is also red. That's blue. What? The song that I wrote was about this relationship that I had I it was that blue. was like the worst thing ever and the best thing ever at the same time. Anybody know what I'm talking about there? Has anybody had that happen? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, kinda. I was writing this song and I was kind of thinking about, you know, kind of correlating the colors to Actually, the different yeah. feelings I went through. And red is such an in interesting color to me because you have the great part of red, like the red emotion. Ah, uh, is this where the comments did? I saw the comments on the, the red reaction I did originally. Where people were saying like it could represent like anger and stuff, but also like passion. So like good and bad things. And I thought that was really cool. So I'm wondering if that's where they, they got this info from was from this video. Interesting color to me because you have the great part <laughs> of the red. Like speak, the red emotions that are like daring and bold and passion and love and affection. And then you have like on the other side of the spectrum jealousy and anger <laughs> and frustration and you didn't call me back and i need space <laughs> i'm fine oh. um <laughs> and uh so what i ended up doing was writing a song that i hope it's you want to hear right it's now it's not the new and album it's called red for for like this timing of the video it was new i think <laughs> Dude, the hair, bro. Summertime sadness, interesting. I kinda I kinda see where you're coming from. Maybe it's the lower tone? I kind of see what you mean, Matt. 
<laughs> listen, I like listen, I like live performances and stuff, but some music I just like better when it's like studio recorded, so I can just hear it. Like I'm sure this hearing this live in the audience is a million times better than watching a video of it. So like you get the full experience, you know what I mean? Watching a video of it, I feel like it never really does it justice. Um, you can hear cool vocal performances, but like all the little elements, you need to be there. This song, when it's in, like in the studio, when we listen to it, like in the ears, it felt so much more better just because it was so full. You hear everything perfectly. I, I mean, the performance is really cool, and I like the you know, live instruments and stuff. But like I said, I think the other ways. Uh, I, I like the MP3. Imagine, what's up, dude? Uh, caught a stream, watch your vids all the time. Flashy. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Hell yeah, Lana Del Rey, Queen. That's the previous on the guitar notes. Man. Okay. A violin. What does that thing do? I've seen that before with guitars, the little metal ring thing. Like, wh I wonder how that works. What is that metal ring thing? <laughs> One of us. <laughs> That's so cool. Yo, you hear that banjo running? Y'all hear that banjo running? Da -da 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 -da. I don't even know what he's doing, but he's... One of things are a cult. <laughs> For real. We are. I, I, I want to go on a rant right now about Lana stands because it's not even that but the some some of the Lana stands I see on Twitter dude the one dude being like like uh homophobic and slightly racist that that pissed me off that pissed me off you're a Lana stand acting like that dude I don't understand I, I again I don't want to go into this rant about it but like holy shit I, I hate when people are like just it's like if, if Lana knew you were acting like this you think she'd be proud you think she'd be proud she would not <laughs> Sounds so gospel. Gospel. Just the countryness. Countries and God go hand in hand. Such a good song. Such a good song, dude. Uh, dude, that's such a good song. I gotta download that one on Spotify. I haven't done that yet. Um, yeah, man really nice performance but like i said i still think i prefer the mp3 version like the studio version where you just get everything in your ears direct direct to your ears you know what i mean via headphones um but still it was a cool song uh performance and stuff i fuck with it keep or delete keep what will i rate this i think i gave the original like a 9.8 I'm, I'm just gonna stick to my rating it's a 9.8 i you know it's not bad at all like it like I said, I do prefer the MP3 version, but it's still a great song. So uh, I'm going to just stick with my old score. And 9-8, uh, man. Uh, dope Taylor song.